right uh, good afternoon everyone today we are going to discuss the traveling microscope triple beam balance and four beam balance section can you all hear me everyone of you okay fine today the setup is bit different because i want to discuss the traveling microscope with you all while doing the when i take the traveling microscope it is a bit different what is that uh, so when you take uh, vernier caliper micrometer screw gauge and spherometer even the meter ruler what is the basic thing behind that if you want to measure certain object we should touch those instrument with the object for example if i want to measure the length of this i should use the meter ruler and touch it or vernier caliper and touch it if i want to measure the thickness i can use micrometer screw gauge i should touch it but in the traveling microscope you don't want to touch you can take photographic view and measure the certain length and measure the particular length so what are the measurement that you can take from the traveling microscope there are few special locations for example if i ask you to measure the internal diameter of a capillary tube internal diameter of a capillary tube you can't use the vernier caliper why is that you can't use the vernier caliper to measure the internal diameter of a capillary tube why is that if you remember capillary tube diameter would be something like 1 mm 2 mm can you insert the jaws to find the internal diameter it is impossible you can't insert the jaws to measure the internal diameter and again if i want to find the diameter of a rubber tube soft rubber tube i can't use the vernier caliper or micrometer screw gauge the reason behind that definitely when i trap that object in between the jaws or anvil and the spindle it will definitely give a deformation so the readings are with errors so to measure the diameter of a rubber tube the most suitable instrument is the traveling microscope because we don't touch the object we don't want to touch the object we will discuss how we are going to do that and let's say there's a butterfly on this wall right there's a butterfly in this wall <clears throat> i want to measure the diameter i i want to measure the length of that butterfly i want to measure the length from head to tail or whatever the whatever the location i want to measure can i use a meter ruler to and measure that it is impossible you can't measure it once you touch what will happen it is not there definitely we have to go for photographic view so this particular instrument help you to measure certain measurement without touching the object which is very very important part where you can't find from any other instrument right if you have anything please ask you can chat on the chat box so i can reply it so so we with that idea we we try to discuss the traveling microscope mainly the component first then we can go to the practicals so this is the traveling microscope i think everyone can see the uh, traveling microscope section so the most important part is the microscope this is the microscope lamai this is the microscope this whole section is called the microscope 
this microscope consists with two lenses this microscope consists with two lenses this is the place where we keep our eye and this is call eyepiece lens eyepiece lens since we keep our eye on top of that we call it eyepiece lens there is another lens here it is called objective lens why we should use microscope microscope is mainly a kind of instrument which we can use to enlarge an object enlarge and view you can enlarge the object and view it so this microscope consists with two lenses two lenses here one lens is there other other lens is there this particular lens is called the eyepiece lens why we say it is eyepiece lens we keep our eye like that and look at the object where we keep let's say we keep the object here and look at that since the since this object this this lens is more close to the object we call it objective lens right even this particular microscope can rotate 360 degrees look at here you can rotate 360 degrees like that and even it can uh, it can uh, slide horizontally it can travel horizontally even it can travel vertically so look at it, it can travel vertically it can travel vertically so that's why we call it traveling microscope right i discuss the important thing behind the microscope there are two lenses one is called objective lens another one is called eyepiece lens even it can rotate and even it can travel right and apart from that uh there are few important locations in this instrument if you look at more carefully there is main scale i don't know whether you can see the main scale there is a main scale horizontal we call it horizontal main scale and on top of that we have vertical vernier scale sorry vernier scale horizontal scale on top of that we have vernier scale the vernier scale is slide over the main scale at the very beginning i told you when i started the measurement section i told you there are mainly two principles vernier principles and screw principle vernier principle there are two instrument one is the vernier caliper another one is the traveling microscope so we have already completed the vernier caliper section only we left is what the traveling microscope today we can complete that part <coughs> right so we have horizontal to measure the horizontal measurements horizontal distances we have main scale plus the vernier scale not only that when i take this you can see there is a main scale i don't know whether you can see that there's a main scale there's a main scale and even we have vernier scale at that point where we can slide like this look at here it can slide right it can slide right so i discuss the microscope part and two vernier scale sections and there is another section to discuss we have something here it is a lens where we help you to take the vernier scale reading more 
accurately there's a lens when i look through the lens it is enlarge and it give more accurate answer <laughs> it is enlarge and it give more accurate answer let's say we have certain position to measure so i look through the uh, lens and i can exactly get the coinciding locations so it is easy for me to get the reading this particular lens can be taken to that location so i can weave the horizontal vernier at this location at this point look at here when, when this is when this object is here when this location is here i can look through the lens so i can easily find which location of the vernier is coincide with the main scale right <coughs> right so i will come to this location again so when i look through the ip is lens when i look through the ip is lens i can see clear horizontal and vertical lines two lines we call it cross wires horizontal and vertical horizontal and vertical cross wires is there those two wires we call it cross wires those two wires help you to take the measurements more precisely more accurately unfortunately i can't uh, i can't uh, uh, i can't uh, show it to you because uh, it is inside the lens uh, it is horizontal and vertical those uh, two wires cross wires it's a just a uh, two lines horizontal and vertical line where it helps you to may take a uh, more accurate measurement for a uh, certain object so apart from that uh, we have three legs i don't know whether you can see that uh, one is there one is there and other one other two is uh, yes okay these are two screws we call it leveling screws lamai this these two screws help you to level the primary microscope before taking any measurement this we call it primary microscope bed 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 b e d primary microscope bed this particular traveling microscope bed must be exactly horizontal to make it exactly horizontal we have something called the spirit level most of the instrument it has inbuilt spirit level but in this instrument i can't find a spirit level so i use a separate spirit level there i don't know whether you can see that uh, can you see the air bubble which is uh, which is moving inside the liquid right spirit level we call it uh, spirit level the air bubble is moving inside the uh, inside the liquid so if it is exactly horizontal this particular air bubble must be where should be at this at which point the carpenters they are using this yes between two lines exactly 
so what i should do i should keep this spirit level spirit level and check whether the air bubble is in between the two lines if it is not so what i should do i should rotate this level in screws one by one until it come to middle you do get my point the first most thing that you should do is leveling the traveling microscope leveling the traveling microscope bed to do that we use something called the spirit level so most of the instrument it is come with the instrument but in this instrument it is not there so i use a separate thing even in your school you don't find it you don't find it lamai even in your school most of your school you don't find it right actually this i was brought i brought this one from india when i was in india i brought it in there they use separate thing even uh, i can't uh, i couldn't find the spirit level where it is inside the instrument i don't know what is the reason but some cases you can find it so most of the teachers they use a separate spirit level to level the system so i guess you got my point you want to level these screws level these screws so when i rotate it the screw is rotating and it uh, get at the middle you can take it to the middle so i think you are clear with that point let's say now it is level this whole section is now level no problem with that <coughs> right so i have discussed few component of the instrument one i discussed the microscope and two vernier scales horizontal and vertical scales and the lens which we use here and apart from that the uh, traveling microscope bed and the leveling screws leveling screws there are two screws which you can rotate but there are three screws try to understand there are three screws but only two you can rotate right so some times you have a doubt what what are those sections what are those knobs what are those knobs i will help you to understand those right so when i look at through an object when i look at through an object the first thing that i can see is the cross wire cross wire <clears throat> let's say so i want to measure the length of this pen how to do that i will explain i want to measure the length of this pen so when i keep i keep this pen on top of the bed and try to measure it try to measure it so i should focus the object i should focus the lens to the pen when i focus the ob object when i focus the object sometimes i can't see the object lamai sometimes i can't see the object it is not exactly focus what i should do there then i should rotate this particular screw when i rotate this particular screw you can see that this particular section is moving up and down there there may be a situation where this pen is clearly visible then we say it is clearly focus it is clearly focus on the object right i can move like this i can move like that sometime even it is not possible to focus the object more clearly so look at here when i look at that it is not possible so i take this object actually now it is clearly visible it is clearly visible no problem right it is clearly visible sometimes if if you can't focus still and we can we come to a maximum location we are you uh, rotate that and come to maximum location even this is possible you can loosen this uh, you can loosen this uh, uh, this screw 
so you can take this uh, sy system like that until this location until this location and screw it and screw it so this particular screw help you to take the vernier vernier up and down by a large amount by a large amount we call it motion knob this particular screw i think you can see that this particular screw is called the motion knob for vertical motion motion knob motion knob for vertical motion right and if you want to change this vernier by a small amount we have a knob like this you can rotate it then i can i think you can see that this particular section is moving very small amount you call it fine tuning when i rotate it when i rotate it so look at here this whole section is moving up and down but remember i should tighten it first to use this knob i should tighten it first to use this knob otherwise i can't move it look at look at the i loosen it when i loosen it even though i move it, even though i rotate it it is not moving so remember if i rotate even though i rotate it it is not moving what is the reason behind that i haven't tightened it i should tighten it first in order to move this ob in order to move this vertical section so there is a question let me to answer it first sir so when the body tube is moving up does the image become smaller no it is not it is only clearly visible unfortunate i don't know whether you can see that let me to make it more clear this is this is lamai call what ip lens can you see there is something like uh, 10x can you see that uh, 10x 10x is there can see right the mark is highlighted like 10x check with everyone want to understand that one it's 10x what it mean by 10x 10x means a particular object is enlarged by how many times 10 times 10x means multiplying factor it is multiplied by 10 times that's what we call it 10x if you have anything please ask if if there is a physical class definitely i will give you this instrument to for you to observe we did in the similar manner but uh, we try to manage with this uh, with this uh, instrument i think everyone can understand if you have anything please ask i will help you to clear those right uh remember this uh, particular section most of the student they try to rotate it but it is not moving the reason behind that you have to tighten it first in order to rotate it so it is a slow motion knob slow motion knob for vertical motion for vertical vernier motion now i discuss this one okay this one okay this one okay even these two are okay and apart from that there is another section this particular knob what is that actually we have another knob here we have another knob this help you to take the whole section horizontal motion you can take this whole section horizontally without any problem while first thing is you want to loosen it you have to loosen it in order to take this so look at here i can take it without any problem if i rotate this knob if i rotate this knob you can see that it is not moving this particular section is not moving horizontally this knob help you to take this whole section horizontally by a large amount 
this knob help you to take the take this system horizontally by a small amount the fine tuning part is given by this knob but remember until you tighten this until you tighten this this knob is not this knob this knob is not uh, help you to take this system horizontally now it is horizontal now i can take this ne i think you can see that can you all see that now it is moving horizontally can you all see that it's moving very 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 small amount the fine amount is there very small section is there look at there now i loosen it can you see that is it moving now is it moving no it is not moving i should tighten it first then it is moving now it is moving look at here so i discuss everyone every part here uh, anything to ask before come to the other sections the first part uh, i wanted to do is to discuss the main component of the traveling microscope i think i did it you have anything to ask right if you don't have anything the before come to the other sections uh, uh we will write the note first there is no special thing if uh, you if, when the time comes when your school started you get try to get familiarize with the object this uh, instrument uh, which is very basic instrument but you should understand it you should understand it uh, if we do the physical class i definitely give the student to uh, take the hand on hand on experience on this instrument but unfortunately we don't uh, have that chance even i am doing this uh, this particular class uh, online continuously i don't think that i will do the physical class i will continue till the end so uh, this is how we should do that uh one is asking me how to take the measurement through this i will i will discuss that don't worry i will discuss that so first thing is you should understand the component after that we can go to the uh, measurement section yes i am doing until 2023 online classes i will doing only online classes because there are several students from batiklo jafna they can't come to the class ne so i should do the online classes uh, if the time permit i can do a physical class but i am not stopping the online class right okay uh, uh, it's better to take the note uh, we will take a note first write a topic traveling microscope traveling microscope traveling microscope traveling microscope right so lama uh, ib is my screen can you see my screen every one of you is my screen is visible for you all right so i ask you to take the print out of those uh if you have those print out under the traveling microscope uh, topic you want to paste this uh, uh, picture and name those uh, components right name those components shall you write those section if you don't have the print out with you now you can write what is represented by what denoted by capital a b c d e like that and finally you can uh, take the print out and paste it if you have a print out i have given the space to write the uh, component you can use those shall you write that now first a what is a it is a microscope 
you can start with me and write that it is a microscope this section is microscope we call it the whole section is microscope what is b then b is what eyepiece lens eyepiece we call we keep the eye here that's why we call it eyepiece number c go with the letters number c it is the objective lens objective lens number d screw for the adjustment of the microscope to focus you better write like this you better write like this not the uh, not that definition you better write like this focusing knob of the microscope focusing knob better write like that instead of writing this you better write focusing knob k n o b focusing knob of the microscope focusing knob of the microscope focusing knob of the microscope e is here can you see my cursor am i can everyone see my cursor okay lens it is a lens if vertical main scale vertical main scale vertical main scale g vertical vernier scale vertical vernier scale h h is this h is the this particular screw motion knob of the vertical vernier scale so when i loosen it i can take that ne it is it is a screw you can't see it it is behind my figure it is behind my picture right vertical vert, uh, the motion knob of the vertical vernier scale you have written that j what is that slow motion slow motion knob of the vertical vernier scale slow motion knob of the vertical vernier scale slow motion knob of the vertical vernier scale k horizontal main scale it is horizontal main scale horizontal main scale i have written like l1 l2 and l3 what are those three it is leveling screws leveling screws leveling screws of the instrument leveling screws of the instrument leveling screws of the instrument m m is vernier vernier scale horizontal vernier scale horizontal vernier scale m is there horizontal vernier scale n is this screw the screw at that point it is n motion knob of the vernier scale motion knob of the horizontal vernier scale you better write like that motion knob of the horizontal vernier scale motion knob of the horizontal vernier scale motion knob of the horizontal vernier scale here p represent slow motion knob slow motion knob so it's only you a very small sections small sections moving slow motion knob of the horizontal vernier scale 
slow motion knob of the horizontal vernier scale. Right. Anything to us? We have written the component and we identify the component. Now we can take the measurement. Ne? <coughs> Let's say, so we are trying to measure the internal diameter of a capillary tube. So capillary tube, capillary tube is keep like that, it's kept like this. And the microscope is in front of that. So you have a Let's say this is the capillary tube. So you have a capillary tube like that. It is kept on a stand. Now it is here, right? Imagine it is there. And I should keep like, I should keep my eye like that and focus this microscope until The bow is clearly visible. The bow is clearly visible. This is the crossfire, horizontal crossfire. Actually, when I look at through the eyepiece lens, I can see clear horizontal and vertical crossfires like that. Clear horizontal and vertical crossfires like that. It is clearly visible, Lamai. Right, horizontal and vertical cross wires. Horizontal and vertical. There are a few questions. Uh, which one? A part take I one is asking me I part take up the is Oh, I part take up the bun. I haven't taken that letter, am I? Because I is something not suited. Even I haven't taken the O. Letter O is not taken. It is missing letter. I purposely did that. Understood? Clear the the my connect kahano. I part take up. Tibu nethi ke tibu nethi ke la mama ek the ek purposely dam me nethi. Right. There is another question. So can you show that again? Which one? For oh, one second, traveling microscope show again. This one. So do we have to study the names of parts of the exam? Ah, picture, okay. One is asking me, do we have to study the names of the parts of the exam? Names of the parts for the exam? Yes, you want to know. It is not difficult, Nilamai. It is not difficult. You mean this picture, ne? The capillary tube, microscope. Okay. Of the previous one. Okay. This one, right? Okay. I will give you one or two minutes. If you haven't write it properly, just write that. Right. So we are trying to measure the inner diameter of a capillary tube. So you keep the capillary tube in front of the microscope and the microscope is rotated like that. And you have to fine tune it until the bow of the capillary tube is clearly visible. So when I look through this, I can I you can see see this one clearly. This is how it appeared. The bow is appeared like that. Actually, I should measure this particular section. Eh? I should measure this particular section, the diameter of that. <coughs> right. This is how we are going to do that. Now, let's say 
now let's say this is the figure can we can everyone see my cursor am i everyone of you can see my cursor can everyone see my cursor all right okay now okay fine now you can see this vertical cross wire this is called vertical cross wire and this is called horizontal cross wire so let's say i want to measure the horizontal diameter of this capillary tube inner diameter of the capillary tube what i should do i should take this vertical cross wire up to this leg this location when i look at through this i can see this this figure i can see this one so i should take this whole system a bit amount towards the left side until this vertical cross wire exactly match with this location this particular location so look at here our uh, first thing i will i will try to measure the no i will try to measure the horizontal diameter now it is here now it is here now what i should do i should take the reading i should take the reading now when i want to take the reading since the horizontal measurements are involving i keep the lens and take the reading let's say now the reading is since we have a vernier scale and the main scale i will explain the least count of the instrument so what they have done they have selected 49 49 division 49 division of the main scale and redivided that into 50 49 division of the main scale and redivided that into 50 one main scale division is 0.5 degree 0.5 degree so what is the least count then what is the least count can you find the value of the least count what is the least count lamai what is the least count can one of you try that i can't take the uh, i can't uh, okay fine so what is the least count uh, one main scale is 0.5 mm can you see my white board here today the system is bit different because i am want to discuss the traveling microscope also right the 1.5 mm how many divisions we have selected 49 main scale divisions were selected 49 main scale division is how much 0.5 mm and redivided that into 50 to form the vernier scale so if you do like that you end up with 0.49 eh? 0.49 one vernier scale division is 0.49 so the least count how to find the least count least count equal one main scale division 0.5 mm minus one vernier scale division 0.49 mm what is the answer 0.01 mm 
millimeter is the least count. 0.01 millimeter is the least count of the instrument. Everyone understood? Anything to ask, any one of you? Understood the least count? How do you arrive the answer for the least count? Right, understood. Ne? Okay. Right. Right. So now I will come again to the PowerPoint presentation. So let's say I want to measure the horizontal diameter. What I should do? This is the horizontal diameter. I should keep this vertical line like this. So like that and take the scale. Let's say this reading is at this point, I'm getting the answer as X1, right? Then what I should do? I should take this system horizontally towards the right-hand direction until the vertical crosswire appeared at that point, appeared that point, right? Now it is appeared at that point. Take the reading. Now you can take the reading. Let's say at this point, you are getting the answer as X2, the new main scale and vertical, main scale and vertical scale reading is X2. What is the horizontal measurement? Horizontal measurement is X1 minus X2. O x2 minus x1. The, the difference will provide the answer. It is the horizontal measurement, x. Right? We can get the horizontal measurement like that. The amount that we taken towards the right-hand direction is the exact, exact diameter, inner diameter of the capillary tube, horizontal diameter of the capillary tube. Let's say I want to measure the vertical diameter. What I should do? I can use the horizontal crosswire. So look at here. So I am going to uh, measure the, the I'm going to measure the uh, horizontal vertical diameter of the capillary tube. The horizontal line is exactly coincide at that point, right? Now let's say it is here. Take the reading. Take the reading, okay? Take the reading. Let's say now the reading is Y1. After that, what you should do, you should take it down, take it down, take this system down. You can do that by uh, slow motion knob. Take it down until it 
horizontal crossfire exactly come to this location the amount that you are moving the traveling microscope is the answer or the difference between those two location let's say it is y2 so you have y1 minus y2 as the answer for the y it is the vertical diameter vertical diameter of the uh, capillary tube look at here now the horizontal line is coincident at that point it is the vertical diameter of the diameter of the capillary tube now you have two answers horizontal and vertical diameter so what is the exact answer you can find the exact answer what is that you can take the mean value of that x is the horizontal diameter y is the vertical diameter take the take the average by dividing those two you have the exact diameter for the capillary tube that's how we measure the uh, inner diameter of a capillary tube anything to ask any one of you <coughs> anything to ask any one of you there are a few questions i will ask so can you explain this part which one isn't it x2 minus x1 yeah maybe it depend on the situation neither sometime this location if i take it towards the left hand direction or oh, it depend on the situation if i take from here to there i should i should subtract x2 minus x1 i should do by x2 minus x1 if i keep it here and take it there i should subtract in other way right anything ask did i answer your question uh, what's the name of that sahan did i answer your question all right okay which means we should use modules what is mean by modules which means we should use modules one is asking me which means sir we should use modules i can't understand what do you mean by modules what mean by modules mean only the magnitude yes you should think only the magnitude yes a module assign you need yes <laughs> you want to think only the magnitude that's correct so by since we are taking the difference do we need to find the zero error zero error of the instrument do we need to find it no we don't want to find the zero error what is the reason behind that we are taking the difference always we are taking the difference between the two reading so no need to find the zero error of the instrument we don't want to find the zero error of the instrument anything to ask any one of you or shall we write the note then right finish i you don't have anything to ask right okay shall i write the note then uh we discuss how to measure the inner diameter of a capillary tube that is the most uh, uh important uh practical that we should do under measurement section apart from that i will tell you how to how to find the thickness of a glass cube all right how to find the thickness of a glass cube first as a first part we should write the uh, write this uh, note and then we can move to the next practical which is again important for your exam which will be discussed under optics under optics but anyway i will explain that uh, section also how to find the thickness of a glass cube uh 
since I have the instrument, I can explain it today. Uh, when it come to the optics also, we can explain it, no doubt. Right. Can you write that, uh, keep the space for the, for the picture to be pasted? Keep the space and write there. Sliding caliper, right under that. Sliding caliper, sliding caliper cannot be used. Sliding caliper cannot be used. Sliding caliper cannot be used to measure, to measure. Sliding caliper cannot be used to measure the internal diameter to measure the internal diameter internal diameter of a capillary tube of a capillary tube the reason is that the reason is that the reason is that the internal jaws of the caliper the reason is that internal jaws of the caliper cannot be inserted cannot be inserted into the caliper into the capillary tube cannot be inserted into the capillary tube in addition in addition in addition the external diameter the external diameter the external diameter of a rubber tube of a rubber tube of a rubber tube also cannot be measured also cannot be measured also cannot be measured using 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 the sliding caliper using the sliding caliper sliding caliper means vernier caliper sliding caliper since the rubber tube will be deformed 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 when pressed by jaws when pressed by jaws when pressed by jaws of the caliper of the caliper and the readings are with errors and the readings are with errors and the readings are with errors right leave a line and write traveling microscope 
traveling microscope can be used traveling microscope can be used to obtain to obtain to obtain such measurements such measurements such measurements more accurately more accurately more accurately and conveniently more accurately and conveniently more accurately and conveniently furthermore 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 traveling microscope is furthermore traveling microscope is traveling microscope is frequently used frequently used frequently used in experiments frequently used in experiments to measure to measure to measure to measure length more accurately most accurately measure length most accurately leave line and right the principal component the principal component the principal component the principal component of the traveling microscope the principal component of the traveling microscope traveling microscope is the microscope is the microscope is the microscope after adjusting after adjusting after adjusting the microscope microscope properly after adjusting the microscope properly the portion being measured the portion being measured the portion being measured can be enlarged can be enlarged can be enlarged and weaved by and weaved by can be enlarged and weaved by it can be enlarged and weaved by it when weave through when weave through v i e v i e w e d weave through when weave through the microscope when weave through microscope two cross wires two cross wires two cross wires
which are perpendicular which are perpendicular which are perpendicular can be observed can be observed can be observed shall we draw this one shall we draw that one you want to draw only that bra this one and write that vertical cross wire vertical cross wire and write this one as horizontal cross wire horizontal cross wire finish okay right leave a line and write the microscope can be adjust the microscope can be adjust the microscope can be adjust horizontally and vertically the microscope can be adjust horizontally and vertically therefore 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 this can be used therefore this can be used to measure therefore this can be used to measure this can be used to measure length length which are horizontal length which are horizontal and vertical which are horizontal and vertical there are there are two vernier scales there are two vernier scales there are two vernier scales there are four sorry there are two vernier scales and two main scales two main scales horizontal and vertical the two main scales are calibrated the two main scales are calibrated the two main scales are calibrated in 0.5 mm divisions in 0.5 mm divisions
and the vernier scales are marked by and the vernier scales are marked by dividing dividing 49 dividing 49 main scale divisions dividing 49 main scale divisions into 50 equal parts into 50 equal parts they are four they are four least count equal least count equal 0.5 mm minus we have 49 divisions from the main scale 0.5 and we have divided by 50 so the answer is finally 0.01 mm i want you to write like that right finish okay right finish okay right writer subtopic measurement of internal diameter measurement of internal diameter of a capillary tube measurement of internal diameter of a capillary tube measurement of internal diameter of a capillary tube we'll write it point forms the first point place the microscope on a table place the microscope on a table place the microscope on a table use the spirit level use the spirit level use the spirit level on its base on its base on its base followed by followed by placing it placing it in a perpendicular direction placing it in a perpendicular direction and each case and each case and each case level the microscope and each case level the microscope using using the leveling screws using the leveling screws each case using the leveling screws
next point adjust 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 the microscope horizontally adjust the microscope horizontally and fix the cap capillary tube and fix the capillary tube and fix the capillary tube in front in front of the microscope in front of the microscope in front of the microscope using a stand using a stand using a stand coaxially using a stand coaxially coaxially i want you to draw that one this figure want you to draw that this section so once you done please let us know then we can move to the other part finished right next point in order to measure the vertical diameter in order to measure the vertical diameter vertical diameter adjust the horizontal cross wire adjust the horizontal cross wire of the microscope of the microscope to touch with the uppermost point to touch with the uppermost point to touch with the uppermost point of the internal surface of the internal surface of the capillary tube of the capillary tube
record the reading of the vertical scale record the reading of the vertical scale record the reading of the vertical scale so want you to draw that uh, you want to draw something similar to this right no need to do any other part draw like that this figure i want you to draw this one draw only that right finish okay right finish okay all right okay right so you just draw and and write y2 let's say y2 the reading is y2 the measurement is y2 here next point lower the microscope 
lower the microscope lower the microscope with the same horizontal cross wire with the same horizontal cross wire with the same horizontal cross wire touch with the lowest point touch with the lowest point lowest point of the internal surface of the internal surface of the tube of the tube of the tube record the reading record the reading draw this one like that that is enough y1 don't take much time because we have to discuss the uh, triple beam balance also y2 so y1 sorry y1 reading is y1 next point take the difference of the about take the difference of the about two readings take the difference of the about two readings take the difference of the about two readings within bracket y2 minus y1 or it can be y1 minus y2 let's say y2 minus y1 close the bracket that is equal to the that is equal to the internal vertical diameter 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 of the ca capillary tube internal vertical diameter of the capillary tube right next point measure the diameter of the capillary tube measure the diameter of the capillary tube adjust the vertical cross wire adjust the vertical cross wire of the microscope adjust the vertical cross wire of the microscope touch the end point of touch the end point of the touch the end point of the left side touch the end point of the left side of the vertical diameter of the vertical diameter record the reading record the reading draw like this this is enough okay you know the method no this is enough let's say x1 is the reading or x2 is the reading Draw this one only.
Okay. Next point. Take the microscope. Take the microscope until until the vertical crosswire until the vertical crosswire. vertical crosswire touch with the touch with the point touch with the point in the right hand side touch with the point in the right hand side right hand side of the internal diameter of the internal diameter of the internal diameter take the reading take the reading so i want you to draw that one this particular figure don't take much time on drawing. These are very simple sections. Right, right under that, take the difference, take the difference of the above two readings, take the difference of the above two readings within bracket x2 minus x1, x2 minus x1 x2 minus x1 close the bracket that is equal to the that is equal to the horizontal diameter that is equal to the horizontal diameter horizontal diameter of the capillary tube of the capillary tube leave a line and write the mean value the mean value of the the mean value of the vertical and horizontal the mean value of the vertical and horizontal internal diameters the mean value of the horizontal and vertical gives the gives the 
average average internal diameter average internal diameter of the capillary tube of the capillary tube so lamai if they ask you to measure the uh, uh, diameter of a rubber tube the same steps you can follow no difference same steps write a note the same steps as above the same steps as above could be followed could be followed could be followed in measuring in measuring in measuring the external diameter in measuring the external diameter of the rubber tube external diameter of the rubber tube right done okay right apart from what uh, i explained earlier uh, if they ask you to find the thickness actually this uh, this section will be discussed under optics uh, there are few section to be discussed to come to the optic section it is under the oscillation waves it is our third part third topic this will be discussed under optics let's say i want to measure the thickness of this glass cube how to do that i will explain the steps so lamai you can use the powder in normally in your school lab there is something called the lycopodium powder something similar to the normal powder lycopodium powder the first thing that you should do is you want to you want to level the traveling microscope bed the everything has to be in that order Uh, keep the spirit level and do like that uh, i guess you are okay with that part and after leveling the travel microscope place few powder dust on top of the uh, on top of the uh, on top of the bed okay so i have placed some dots here and focus the microscope onto the dust particles powder particle right if it is not clearly visible so what you want to do so you should screw it screw it until it is clearly focused and visible focusing means it's visible clearly right now it is clearly visible now take this reading what is the reading now take this reading this particular reading it is the vernier main scale reading vertical scale reading keep this object here that is the glass if i look at through this glass cube i can't see i can't see the dust uh, the powder particles now place few powder particle dust like that and i want to focus my traveling microscope it when it if until it is clearly visible to make it visible i should move it up i should move this traveling microscope up then only it is visible right then only it is visible once it is once it is uh, clearly visible 
I can fine tune by the slow motion knob. Let's say now it is clearly visible. What you should do? Take the second reading here. Take the second vernier reading, vernier and main still reading. The difference of that would provide what? The difference of that would provide the thickness of this glass cube. Can you understand that? Anything to ask? Any one of you? Understood? Every one of you? Are you clear with that? Sulamaya, are you clear with this uh, concept? I mean, our oh, one is asking me to repeat. What you want to do? So you want to like a podium powder. Let assume that is a like a podium powder. Place it on top of the glass, uh, on top of the traveling microscope bed. So you want to focus it. You want to focus it. The traveling microscope is now clearly focus on the lycopodium powder. Okay. Right. Keep this. Keep this on top of that. If I look at through this lens, I can't see anything. What you should do, you should keep, you should place again the lycopodium powder onto the glass cube on top of the glass cube and take this take this whole system upward a certain amount until the lycopodium powder which is on top of the glass cube would appear would appear it's now appeared clear now it is appeared. Understood? Take the second reading of the reading of this. The difference of that one. Initially it was here. Now it is there. The difference of those two would provide the thickness of the glass cube. Understood? Uh, one is asking me, yes, sir, the concept is clear, but no idea regarding about taking measurements. Still confusing? What is the confusing part? The measurement, uh, were you there when I discussed the traveling, uh, when, uh, were you there when I discussed the vernier caliber section? The concept is clear, but no idea regarding taking the measurement. Were you there when I discussed uh, uh, Sashi Haran? Were you there when I discussed the... Uh, I'm, I mean, sir, taking difference. I think, I think this... <laughs> the mean... I mean taking the difference. Look at here. You have a certain measurement, right? You have a certain measurement. Okay. You are taking the measurement as Y1. You take the whole system up to this level. Y2 is the reading. The difference of those two reading would provide how much you shifted the system. It is the same, uh, same as the thickness of the glass cube. Still confusing? You are confusing, right? Still confusing. For example, don't think about the vernier, vernier scale. Think about that is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 millimeters. So what is the reading? 12 minus 7, what is the reading? 
12 minus 7, 5 meter, 5 millimeter. Yes, it's 5 millimeter. Don't worry, we are doing again a few questions on the traveling microscope. In my tutorial, you can try that. I will discuss those sections later. Right. I think you all are clear with that. Uh, anyone who have uh, who have done the traveling microscope uh, earlier and how you feel? Are you clear with the things which I explained? Anyone who have completed the traveling microscope? That's all for the traveling microscope section. How you feel am I traveling microscope? So is it clear? Anything to ask any one of you before we come to the other section? So anything to ask? Are you clear with the traveling microscope section, every one of you? Only few are clear. How about the others? They are not clear. That means right. Okay, fine. If you have any doubt, you can ask that. No issue. Uh, the traveling microscope section. There are no more theories. We have discussed everything, including. Uh, something which which we need to discuss under the optics also I discussed the specially measurement of uh, glass cube thickness will be discussed under optics I also discussed that part uh, right let us discuss this section This is called triple beam balance. So this is called the triple beam balance. They use a very small concept, which is called the principle of moment, which will be discussed under uh, under uh, uh, moment, equilibrium of forces, and center of gravity. Mechanics number six. Uh, we are discussing now the mechanics number two, linear motion section. Under number six, we are discussing, we want to discuss the principle of moment, but I will explain what is principle of moment is. In simple term, let's say you have a something like ruler. A ruler like that, so exactly horizontal line. So if I take a pivot or the knife edge at the middle, I can exactly keep both sides horizontal this hole i can keep horizontal so what happened if i place a mass on that there is a weight because of that weight it start to topple if i place a similar type of weight here i can keep the system again balance if i take this object close to that location i will take a different system the pivoted point is here i keep this object mg at that point and you have a larger mass or a different mass, I can keep at that location M dash G. Let's say this is L1, this L1, and this length is L2. This is L2. 
here the system is again balanced the principle of moment is called l1 i am not trying to describe the principle of moment but i guess you know the moment about this location let's say the location is o the moment about point o is equivalent to l1 mg equal to l2 m dash g so this concept is called the principle of moment right so you can keep the system in a horizontal position like that right so i will take a few minutes uh, without doing, without giving a break i will continue uh, because i want to complete this whole section a very small section is there i will discuss that one is there any issue with that <sighs> right okay fine i will discuss that one so lamai <laughs> we have discussed how to measure the length to measure the length we discussed the vernier caliper micrometer screw gauge spherometer traveling microscope now we are moving to the mass measurement so when you take the mass measurement when you take the mass measurement we have mainly few instruments to measure the mass more accurately so i have i will uh, so i have already given you the kind of figure to uh, show you what are the uh, what are the most uh, suitable instruments which give the exact answer for the mass measurement let me to take that first i have given you uh, four types instrument one is electronic balance there is nothing to discuss in the electronic balance i think you all know about the electronic balance we, you, when you keep an object at that point you can exactly give the answer you can exactly get the answer there is nothing to uh, discuss about the electronic balance uh when you take the chemical balance it is not in the syllabus now no need to discuss the chemical balance also give a more accurate answer for the mass measurement so apart from that uh, we have uh, triple beam balance and four beam balance so we should discuss those three section we should discuss those three sections uh triple beam balance and four beam balance so here we have the ripple beam balance this is the ripple beam balance uh, can you write the topic ripple beam balance ripple beam balance better write the topic we'll discuss that right under that both the triple beam balance both triple beam balance and four beam balance both triple beam balance and four beam balance use the principle of moment principle of moment principle of moment two types of two types of balances are two types of balances are commonly used 
commonly used in school lab in school lab the balance shown below the balance shown below the balance shown below are the triple beam balance t r i p l e triple beam balance beam b a a m it's given now triple beam balance triple beam balance triple beam balance so i want you to uh, take this print out and paste in your book there are few uh, uh, important locations where we want to write it first So look at the uh, this is called adjustment screw i will tell you what is mean by adjustment screw this is adjustment screw can you write that adjustment screw adjustment screw this is the adjustment screw this is the platform flat form platform platform these are called riders these are called riders these are called riders this is the center mark this location is called the center mark center mark center mark this is beam beam it is called the beam right so we have already named those components we have already named those components the concept i explain let's say you have a stick you have a stick uniform stick you place a weight you place a weight and the weight and the stick can be balanced if you place more weight what will happen it start to topple the similar concept is applied here what is that you want to place the object which we need to measure the mass let's say i want to measure the mass of that right so i want to measure the mass of that for example before taking any measurement the first thing that you should do is to take this line exactly to the zero location i think you can see that can you see the zero location lamai can you see the zero location here the center mark if it is not so you want to screw it look at here now it is not exactly zero it is can you see that this location we have zero mark here but this but this line is
but this line is above the zero mark. Ne? This line is above the zero mark. I should screw. I should screw it until it is come to the zero mark. So all the masses, these are called riders. These riders must be taken to the left corner before those riders must be taken to the left corner before taking the system to the zero. It's not come to the zero now. So now it's exactly zero. So look at here. It comes exactly zero. Zero and zero coincide. The, lo the line and zero is coincide. Can you see that, every one of you? So I have already given the picture. Ne? The one is asking me, can you send this picture to the group? I have already given the picture to the group. Can you see that the, the mark? is now exactly coincide with zero mark here, this mark. So according to this picture, this horizontal line must be exactly coincide with this line. It has to be coincided. If it is not so, you should screw it until it is coincided, right? So Lamai, there are there is a one main beam and there are three beams. That's what we call the triple beam. Triple beam. So the if I start with the middle one, middle one, we have zero mark, 100 gram, 200 gram, 300 gram, 400 gram, 500 gram. Up to 500 gram, it is marked. And this particular mass can be taken 200, 200, it is a discrete amount, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. In between, you can't keep a mass. Did you get the point? If you look at it more clearly, there's a small, the small section is there. The small section is there like this, like that. So you should keep this mass at that point. It is indicated as 100 gram. When it come to 200, it indicated as 200, 200 gram. So that means we should keep 500 sections. You can keep up to 500 grams. It's a discrete amount. In between zero to 100, you can't take. After that, uh, if I take the first beam, it is 10 gram, 20 gram, 30 gram, 40 gram, up to 100 grams, like that. It also decreased 10 gram, discrete amount, 
100 10 gram 20 30 40 like that so in the middle one 500 maximum is 500 the first one is 100 so altogether 600 in the third one this particular section it is indicated as maximum 10 gram it is not discrete it is a rider can slide like that without any problem you can keep whatever the value you like in between 10 gram it is indicated as 1 gram 2 gram 3 gram 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 in between 0 to 1 it is again divided into 10 in between 1 it is again divided into 10 0.1 gram 0.2 gram 0.3 gram like that so let me to show it in my instrument the first one it is 0 100 200 300 400 500 so you should take the rider up to here you can take up to here up to here discrete amount the first one 10 gram 20 30 40 like up to 100 so altogether 500 is there 100 gram is there apart from that we have 10 gram in between 0 to 1 gram 0 and 1 gram it is again equally divided into 10 section where we can measure 0.1 gram 0.1 gram actually the least count of this instrument is 0.1 gram for example i will take an example for you to make it more clear let's say i want to measure i want to measure uh, something like that uh, So I want to measure something like 438.6 gram. 400. I want to measure this one. 400. Let's assume that it is 438 something. 400. Let's say it is 438.6 gram. I know the exact mass of that. Exact mass I know. I keep this 400 gram, 438 point gram here. When I keep that exactly, it is moving up. It's moving up. So I can take this, the middle one, up to how many grams? 100, 200, 300, 400. Up to 400 gram, I can take this one. Like that, I can take 100. 200, 300, 400. 400 take, I have already taken that into 400. After that, if I go to 500, I know that it's not balanced. You can't balance it because it's 438.6. The balance 38.6, I can count from there. Here, 30 gram, you can measure up to 30 gram. This, this particular rider can be taken to here taken to here it is 30 now we have another 8.6 gram this one can be taken to 8.6 something no 8.6 is something like that something here 8.6 so when i balance it i realize let assume we don't know the mass of that let assume that we don't know the mass we place it and measure the mass we realize it is 438.6 gram. So we can measure up to 0.1 gram. That's what it means. Simple stories, we use the principle of moment. I will explain it again for you to make it more clear. Let's say we have a pivoted point. It is the pivoted point here. It behave as the pivoted point. Let's assume that it is MG. So what we are trying to do, we make the same mass at the other, other side. If we know that mass, we can say it is exactly equal to that value. That is a simple story behind that. So we are trying to find this mass. We can comment the similar mass is placed on the top. Let me to take the mass of that. 
let us take this one. I don't know whether how much can I measure that. I want to measure the glass cube, mass of the glass cube. Okay. I'm trying to measure the glass cube, mass of the glass cube. When I keep it, firstly, I take all the objects close to that location. Now it is exactly zero. I keep this one. When I keep that one, it's moving up because this side is now much weight weighted. So other side I should balance. I try with the larger one, 10 gram, 200 gram, sorry, 100 gram, 500. It is less than 400 gram. I will take that is to up to 300. If I take to 400, what will happen? Now it is 300, okay? If I make it to 400, I realize it dropping down. No, whether you can see that. If I take it to 300, it is okay. This location is no problem. But if I make it to 400, what will happen? It dropping down. So the maximum amount which we can measure it from the middle one is 300 gram. Now you write that is 300 gram. Then I take this rider, 10 gram, no issue, 20 gram, no issue, 30 gram, not, not issue now yet. 40 gram, not a issue. 50 gram, not a issue. 60 gram, not a issue. 70 gram, not a issue. 80 gram. 90 gram. Now it is what happened? What happened? It's dropping down. So that means I can't go up to that level. I stopped there. What is that mass? What is that value? 80. So we we have 380, 380 gram. So it's a simple thing that you, what you want to do, how to measure the mass, that's all. 300 plus 80, how much? 380. So the balance, it is not balanced yet. Is it balanced? It is not balanced. I don't know whether you can exactly see that, but I can see that it's not exactly balanced. We take this rider like that and take, the rider until it is balanced. S still not balanced. It is not balanced yet. It is not balanced yet. Not balanced. Not balanced yet. Not balanced yet. about to balance now it is exactly balanced 300 plus uh, 80 380 we have something 5.1 5.2 5.6 5.7 5 5.8 from the middle one we took 300 gram 300 gram the next one 80 gram the 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 third one 508 gram F sorry 5.8 gram what is the total 385.8 gram is the total mass of the glass cube that's how we measure the mass of a uh, object by using the triple beam balance understood so I know it's rather difficult for you to because I haven't done the online class for to for to uh, for for this type of uh, experiment. Normally we we are doing this in physical class. I don't know whether you can you can you can understand what I'm trying to explain here. If you are 
in a physical environment definitely you can get it no issue but i wonder that with i don't know whether you can get that idea we try our best to explain it did you get the point lamai everyone of you is it clear or do i need to explain it again everyone is okay with that 5.8 getting 5.8 gram is was little hard yes it's difficult but uh, the reason is this it's not a difficult thing la mai uh, i can't even use the whiteboard properly because my uh, webcam is placed in a different location it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 when i take the rider it is stop 1 2 3 4 5 it is some stop somewhere else it is stop at that point so it is divided 1 2 it is divided 3 it is divided 4 g it is divided 5 g it is divided 6 g it is divided when i count these numbers i realize this eight number so that's why i told you 5.8 gram understood the answer is clear the one who asking me all right okay one is asking me the accurate as electronic balance electronic balance is rather accurate i guess but in here uh the yes electronic balance is rather accurate than this it depend on the situation sometimes electronic balance also gives the wrong answers uh it depends on the least count depends on the least count uh shall you write this not shall you write this not first Right. So you have you want to keep the space for to paste that. Uh, picture in your book after keeping the space write this check check to see check to see if the balance is properly adjust check to see if the balance is properly adjust to adjust to adjust to adjust set all riders set all riders at zero at zero with all objects with all objects remove from the pan or platform remove from the plan pan or platform remove from the platform the pointer should swing the pointer should swing the pointer should swing an equal distance an equal distance an equal distance at each side equal distance at each side of the zero of the zero
if it does not if it does not use the adjustment screw use the adjustment screw to obtain to obtain equal swing equal swing equal swing equal swing of the pointer equal swing of the pointer Next point. Move the rider. Move the rider of greatest mass. Move the rider. Move the rider of greatest mass. along this beam along this beam one notch n o t c h one notch notch means a location one notch at a time one notch at a time until it caused the pointer to drop until it caused until it caused pointer to drop pointer to drop then place the object No, no, and please cut it until it causes the pointer to drop. Then move the rider back one notch. Then move the rider back. Then move the rider back one notch. the front beam 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 which is mark which is marked off which is marked off in the smallest increment which is marked off in the smallest increment is not not is not not n o t c h e d is not not slide the rider slide the rider slide the rider on this beam on this beam until it swing until it swing an equal distance until it swing 
an equal distance equal distance on each side of the zero scale on each side of the zero scale on each side of the zero scale right so what is the maximum mass according to this uh, setup what is the maximum mass that you can measure from this setup the middle one 500 gram maximum is the middle one 500 gram the first one the middle one 500 gram the first one 100 gram 500 plus 100 600 the front one 10 gram 10 gram means 500 500 600 610 it is a 610 gram right 610 gram so sometime you might feel that it is the maximum mass that you can measure it is not so let's say we have something like uh, something like 1 uh, kg mass 1 kg mass we know that it can be it cannot be measured from this setup so we have for the triple beam balance only we have a mass which can hang over the system it is 500 gram mass so we place this 500 gram here and start the system so we started with 500 gram so we know that it is exactly 500 and the balance let's say our mass is something like uh 1 kg 1 kg 1 kg or 1.1.01 kg in terms of kilogram it is in terms of gram it is 10 10 gram but here the maximum mass according to this system the maximum mass that can be measured is 100 610 gram but if you place the mass like 500 gram at the beginning this increase by 500 gram now it is the maximum mass we can measure is what the maximum mass is 1110 gram now you can measure this one even you can place another 500 gram and measure that like that you can go to 2.5 kg like that no issue you can measure the maximum is like that 500 gram even i have another mass here which indicate as 209 295 gram 295 grams like that there are three masses which is inside there we have another one i keep there another one Did you get the point, Lamai? Did you get the point? We hang a certain mass there, keep a mass like that, and start to measure the mass. Right. So the least count of this instrument is point one gram. I guess you can understand that it is point one gram. Right. Leave a line and write. In the ripple beam balance, in the ripple beam balance, the least count is point one gram. Point one gram. Point one gram. So in your figure, shall we write 
the main pivot of the balance this is called the main pivot it's better to write that uh, this is called the main pivot main pivot of the balance the main pivot of the balance main pivot of the balance can you write that the main pivot of the balance again we have a pivot here it is called pivot of the platform pivot of the platform pivot of the platform this is the main pivot about this pivot only it give the moment with that and that the directions are he about this location the main pivot is here right under that beam my explain the one is asking me what is the beam this is the beam this is the main beam this is the beam you can see there is a beam no it's a beam and again the, these are three beams which included with the mass that's why we call it triple beam okay is it clear right fine right just write under that the total weight of the platform the total weight of the platform and the object the total weight of the platform and the object placed and the object placed act through the pivot of the platform wherever you place the object it act through the pivot of the platform and the object place act through the pivot of the platform the pivot of the platform is arranged the pivot of the platform is arranged to have this solution to have this solution okay one is asking me to repeat it again the pivot of the platform is arranged the pivot of the platform is arranged to have this solution so when you place an object the total weight of the object is going through the pivot at pivot of the platform it's arranged in that way okay write the topic four beam balance four beam balance four beam balance it is the four beam balance it is four beam balance can you mark those component it's called pan pan even we have the adjustable screws adjustable screws adjustable screw is here adjustable screw adjustable screw this is center mark center mark center mark this is what rider 
we have four riders and four beams. That's why we call it four beams, four beam balance. Riders, these are called riders. Right, I will explain this one also. So, Lamai, in this case, we have zero mark, 100 gram, 200 gram. It's a notch. We have a notch at that point. We have a notch at that point. 100 gram, 200 gram, all together, the maximum is 200 gram, which you can measure from this beam. Maximum is 200 gram. The second beam, the second beam is this. This is our second beam. This is our second beam. This is our second beam. 10 gram, 20 gram, 30 gram notch, 40 gram, up to 100 gram. The second beam provide the value up to 100 gram. 100 gram. The third one. The third one is there, one gram, two gram, three gram, four gram, five, up to 10 gram. It's a notch again. We have a notch again. Everywhere we have a notch. Discrete values, one gram, two gram, in between you are not divided. Here, the maximum is 10 gram. In this particular case, one gram is the maximum. One gram is equally divided into 0.1 gram, 0.2 gram, 0.3 gram, 0.4 gram, like that 0.91 gram. Zero to, I will use a different color. Zero to 0.1 gram. So here we have 0.1. In between those two lines, it is equally divided into 10. So this particular section, this particular section is how much? It is 0 0.01 gram. So what is the special thing behind this? What is the special thing behind that? The least count of this instrument is goes up to 0 0.01 gram. The one important thing is that the least count is even less than the triple beam balance. It is 0 0.01 gram. Can you understand that part? Can you understand that part? Yes, the more accurate than the triple beam balance, the reason is the least count is even less than that figure, that answer. The maximum value that you can measure is 1 gram at the fourth beam. So altogether, how much? 310, 311 gram. The maximum measurement that you can take from the three, four beam balance is 310, 311 gram. You don't have a facility to suspend or hang another different mass at the other end. There is no facility here, like a triple beam balance. So the maximum amount is 311 gram of the instrument, right? So four beam balance, the much important thing you should know is what in there, the least count is even less than the triple beam balance. It is 0 0.01 gram, right? Just write four beam balance. I don't have anything to write. Just write four beam balance. You want to keep the space to draw that space to paste that figure with the, uh, with the point I explained. Keep the space to draw that. You place the mass on this pan, okay? There is no platform. You want to place the mass on that platform, on that pan, and measure the mass. Right. You have to keep the space to paste that figure, just right under that. Four beam balance is a pan type, pan type one. Four beam, four beam balance is a pan type one. It's not a type of platform, pan type one. It least counts is, it, its least count is, its least count is 0 0.01 gram. 
0.01 gram 0.01 gram 0.01 gram right so we have done the, all the three sections that's all we have discussed the traveling microscope triple beam balance co beam balance done but we have discussed few questions on that let's move to few questions on another week i will take another week uh, extra week to uh, discuss the questions uh, with you all i will take a, another week another separate week uh, even though i wanted to stop at eight o'clock i couldn't stop it at eight o'clock uh, sorry about that uh, i wanted to cover up that section normally in a normal class in a physical class we are doing this one within a two hour class that's why i thought it's we can we can do that since the online class it's difficult for me to explain certain part that's why it takes certain time anyway did, how about the lesson did you understand the section Okay, if most of the students understand that one, it's good because you, you check with your friends or the colleagues, they never understand that part, especially the traveling microscope. So I try always to explain certain part more clearly with the instrument. I have almost all the instrument which is belongs to your syllabus. So normally when you explain, when we explain the things, I explain with the instrument that will help you to gain a lot of things, a lot of ideas. So that's end of for the that's enough for today. Uh, we will meet again another week in another day uh, with the questions. Uh, in my tutorial, you can try the traveling microscope questions, Lamai. Uh, you can try the balance questions which are included in my tutorial for the traveling microscope. 